Hey guys, it's your girl Tessa. I'm making a fall drink. Now it's not quite cold here in the H, um, which is why I decided to go with a more cold drink instead of a warm one. But apple cider is in this recipe. I'm so excited. So thanks to Specs because they're the reason why I do these drink videos. And of course, all my alcoholic beverages are purchased from Specs. So if you're over 21, let's make a drink. Okay, first things first, let's take the caramel and let's get, oh, what, no, okay. I was like, do I need to shake it? This is a sugar-free caramel. Obviously, I would go full flavored, but I knew I had that in my fridge from when I was trying to be, I don't know, healthy a little bit. I'm going to mix sugar and cinnamon. Well, it's like Splenda Stevia sugar and cinnamon. I'm gonna mix that all around with my very clean finger. <laughs> and I'm going to get a good glaze on that beautiful champagne glass that probably could be a little cleaner, but that's okay. Um, and it just depends on what you like. Are you, when you do your mimosa, do you do champagne first and then juice? Or do you do juice first and then champagne? I think I'm gonna do the cider just cause I want really cider forward mimosa and i put this in the fridge a while ago like that's gonna be plenty um but i'm still gonna make sure it's cold so like a nice cold beverage okay so this is just the apple cider gorgeous and then that to me is a healthy amount of juice with prosecco Always give that room to bubble. I like what it's kind of organically doing, the little drizzle drazzle there. Now, I have an apple that could be a garnish, but this glass is this flute. You could even dice these apples up and kind of probably sink them to the bottom. That's as much garnish as this drink's getting, but it's still cute. Cheers. Let me try it, make sure it's good. It's really nice. Happy fall, y'all. We have lots of reasons to celebrate.